my <coughs> this video is on what is initiation or diksha as per hinduism and um, <coughs> this is something which uh, people don't talk about much nowadays diksha or initiation now the reason why people don't talk much about it these days is because uh, diksha is something not just anybody can give you it has to be given to you by only and only an enlightened master if any random person just comes and gives you a diksha it is not diksha it is bluff okay so um, diksha is something which is very elaborately described in agama and in other scriptures as well um, so to put it very simply diksha is nothing but the truth a strong uh, thought current you can say maybe of truth jumping from the enlightened space of an enlightened master to the person who is getting initiated so you know when an enlightened master expresses some truth and you know you immediately feel like that aha moment aha you know like it just clicks in your inner space in your mind uh, that is what is diksha and as per agama actually there are several dikshas um, they are all called shiva diksha and mahadeva says in the agama that your spiritual journey even begins with diksha he is not saying if you want take diksha or if you know you're you're feeling like it then take diksha no he is very clearly stating that before diksha before getting an initiation from an enlightened master your real spiritual journey has not even begun he is very explicitly stated that in the agama in the kamika agama purva pada and uh, he is saying that until you get initiated by an enlightened master into what he has expressed as shiva diksha all your spiritual practice everything will not really give you any fruit so for you to get the fruit of your spiritual practice you need to get diksha first and he um, has of course mentioned that uh, you know everything any spiritual practice any tapasya anything you do in life is eventually leading up to your getting diksha from an enlightened master and that is when your real growth begins spiritually so diksha is an extremely integrated part of hinduism because like i just said your real growth as a human being begins with diksha it is not that something optional you know you can keep doing yoga every day that will somehow make you grow spiritually no that is not how it works for your whole biology for your whole system to start getting more and more integrated towards experiencing towards holding that truth you need diksha because when then an enlightened master transmits the truth to you it is not just a verbal instruction your whole system suddenly falls in tune with his space so like uh, you know if i give an example of a tuning fork you know how if a tuning fork is vibrating at a certain frequency and there is another tuning fork which is completely static under scientific measurements and you bring the static one in uh, close proximity of the vibrating tuning fork what happens after some time they're both vibrating with the same frequency right so this is what happens when an enlightened master initiates you into some truth into some knowledge some truth because it is not just that truth getting transmitted your inner space is falling in tune with his inner space and that is the beauty of initiation that is why not any random x y z can come and give you initiation so even if i have received multiple initiations i cannot give you an initiation into some knowledge or some power or any truth until i am enlightened because for it to really have an effect you need an initiation from an enlightened master so it is extremely important that hindus remember this because just learning this rote learning or just you know posting about things on social media or just behaving like you are a big hindu activist or whatever does not earn you anything in the cosmic logic in your real uh, you know what do you say um, in the cosmos in the real growth or you can say in the real life journey when you're charting the journey of your life in that if you forget everything else 
your growth does not happen unless you get initiation from an enlightened master and diksha had a very important place in um, in hinduism and in the journey of a disciple so when uh, children were sent to the gurukul and they were sent there to learn it was not only mere verbal education they were given diksha by their guru who was an, an enlightened being and because they were getting so many initiations they were just quickly able to imbibe things without um, you know without slogging so to say so nowadays you see children slogging so much to learn um, basic uh, whatever is taught in their school it's, it's like a lot of work for them and it's it's fatiguing but those children because they were in tune with an enlightened space they did not find it fatiguing they were very happily learning things just like a play right so it's like they were always in play school um now because we have lost that education system and we have lost that respect for diksha nobody is even seeking it nowadays but this uh, video just explains why it is important and what diksha is so the first step of course is to find an enlightened master who can give you that diksha so please keep watching some of my upcoming videos where i'll explain a little bit more on this thank you